A number of practical ways are recommended for clamping PVC coated conduit. If a power drive unit that spins the conduit is used, the chuck should be equipped with inserts designed specifically for PVC coated conduit. These inserts are available through a local threading equipment distributor. When using a yoke style vise, it is recommended that the jaw assembly be replaced with JAWS 3 vise adapters. These adapters spread the clamping force over a larger area, which helps prevent spinning of the pipe during cutting and threading operations. For larger conduit in a chain style vise, half shell clamps are available to protect a large surface area during the clamping process. The aluminum nickel bronze clamps allow for a strong grip without damaging the exterior coating of the coated conduit. Half shell clamps are available in sizes 2 through 6 inches. Smaller conduit, from half inch to three quarter inch, can be secured in a vise by wrapping the area of the conduit to be clamped with emery cloth coarse side down. This will increase the friction created by the vise and help prevent spinning of the pipe, thereby reducing potential damage to the coating. Additionally, two pieces of angle iron approximately four to five inches long can be used to properly secure half inch to one and a half inch sized conduit in a chain style vise. Use a roller cutter to cut coated conduit. In addition to producing a square cut end, the roller cutter will remove approximately one quarter inch of the PVC coating, aiding in conduit threading. Use a reamer to remove any rough edges caused by the cutting operation. This ensures that the wire pulled through the conduit will not be damaged. Conventional manual or power saws may also be used to cut conduit, but it is essential to ensure that only straight cuts are made in order for the conduit to be properly threaded. Once conduit is reamed, the next step is threading. PVC coated conduit can be threaded with any standard threading tool. Larger model power threaders with open die heads require no modification beyond optional grip inserts for PVC coated conduit. If threading PVC coated aluminum, do not use the same dies that were used on PVC coated steel. Prior to beginning, make sure the threader is dispensing clean threading lubricant. This will aid in flushing away metal and PVC chips. To gauge the length of the threads, Place a factory applied thread protector on the cut end of the pipe. Use a sharpie or marker to mark the length. Hold a utility knife upside down and engage the foot pedal of the threader. The conduit will spin and a cut will be made around the circumference of the conduit. Next, make longitudinal cuts down the length of the conduit. Thread the conduit to the mark previously made. During threading, lubricant will dispense from the threader, flushing away metal and PVC chips. Some threaders are equipped to stop automatically. If conduit is to be threaded with a handheld device, it must be pencil cut before threading can occur. This will enable the die teeth on the threader to engage the conduit. The thread protector attached to one end of the conduit can be used to gauge the length of the cuts. Push the thread protector over the cut end of the conduit to be threaded. With a knife, cut around the circumference of the conduit through the PVC coating to the metal. This cut will indicate the starting point for the longitudinal cuts, and it will give an even ending to the PVC coating removed during threading. The longitudinal cuts will allow the PVC coating to be removed in small pieces instead of long strips that can follow the die head, causing the conduit to collapse. In the same manner as sharpening a pencil with a knife, cut away one quarter inch of the exterior coating. Be sure to use die heads specifically designed to be used with PVC coated conduit. 
Please note, when threading PVC coated aluminum conduit, always use new die heads. Never use the same die head to thread coated aluminum conduit and coated steel conduit. While threading, use a pump oiler with good quality thread cutting oil to flush away the metal and PVC chips. Once threading is complete, use a degreasing spray to clean the threads and the interior of the pipe. Use care not to contaminate the cutting oil with the degreasing spray. Degreasing is important in order to ensure that the thread compound will adhere to the unprotected steel. Bare steel resulting from field cut threads is the most vulnerable area to corrosion in any conduit system. Therefore, a thread compound must be used on all field cut threads and internal rings. Proper use of the thread compound will ensure a reliably sealed installation. Thread compound has been developed as a protection for bare metal and is available in pint cans. PVC coated conduit is available in a complete line of standard, special, and large radius elbows, ready for quick shipment. But when field bending is necessary, there are a variety of bending tools from which to choose. PVC coated conduit can be bent with conventional bending equipment. To accommodate the PVC coating when using a hand bender, always select the next larger size shoe. Use a hickey to reduce the possibility of damage to the conduit coating when making sharp bends, saddles, or offsets. Hand bending is only available for half inch to three quarter inch conduit. For optimum results, use equipment specially designed for bending coated conduit. Hydraulic and electric benders are available with shoes sized for PVC coated conduit. When bending PVC coated conduit with powered equipment, use rubbing alcohol to clean the inside of the shoe and the area of the conduit to be bent. Never use a lubricant on the shoe or conduit. Lubricants tend to allow the conduit to slip above the center line of the shoe, resulting in flattening of the elbow. Major manufacturers of bending equipment offer replacement shoes for coated conduit that can be ordered for existing equipment. Acceptable results can be obtained by machining out conventional shoes. Use shoes the same size as the conduit to be bent and remove approximately 6 one-hundredths of an inch from the inside of the shoe. Engineers working in conjunction with prominent manufacturers have developed special tools to aid in installation of PVC coated conduit systems. PVC touch-up compound is used to repair nicks, cuts, and abrasions to the outer surface of PVC coated conduit. Apply the exterior touch-up compound liberally over damaged areas. Because this material will not adhere to bare metal, it is advisable to overlap existing PVC coating. Sometimes it may be necessary to apply several coats in order to obtain adequate coverage. Allow the first coat to dry completely before applying additional coats. Another application for exterior touch-up compound is for use as a sealant at access fitting openings. In wet locations, apply thread compound to factory threads, assemble, then brush touch-up compound over the sleeve joints. PVC exterior touch-up compound is available in pints with a brush tip applicator. It is also available in a 12 ounce aerosol can where cosmetic coverage is desired. PVC touch-up compound, however, is not formulated or intended to bind to the metal substrate when damage penetrates the coating and exposes the metal substrate. For these cases, a PVC coating repair kit was developed using a custom formulated UL recognized two-part epoxy capable of bonding to both polyvinyl chloride and steel or aluminum substrates. The repair kit includes all tools needed to prepare a small surface prior to applying the epoxy patch. This includes an emery cloth to prepare the surface of the damaged area, the epoxy solution, cleaning cloths, mixing tools, mixing board, instruction sheet and chemical information, and an applicator tool for the compound. To repair the damaged surface of the coating, follow the enclosed instructions. First, use the emery cloth to prepare the surface of the damaged area, removing any debris and creating a good surface profile. Next, use the wet cleaning cloth to remove any excess debris and wipe the area dry with the dry cleaning cloth. Pour equal amounts of the compound from the mixing tube onto the enclosed cardboard mixing surface and use the mixing sticks to mix the compound completely until it is dark gray in color. Once fully mixed, use the enclosed applicator to apply an even coating to the damaged area. The compound will adhere to both the PVC and the metal surface. Several coats may be necessary. The PVC coating repair kit uses a two-part epoxy cold weld system that creates a permanent bond that can be shaped, styled, and sanded after curing. 
The PVC coating repair kit epoxy sets in 6 minutes and cures in 3 to 4 hours to a dark grey color that matches Rob Roy's existing PVC coating. Z wrenches are designed to replace standard adjustable pliers. Z wrenches feature extra wide jaws which spread the clamping force, enabling the tools to grip securely without marring the surface of the conduit. The V-shaped upper jaw allows the wrench to accommodate a wide range of conduit sizes. Shallow grooves in the upper and lower jaws provide an excellent grip. Z wrenches are available in two sizes to fit half inch through two and a half inch conduit. With a spinet, conduit can be tightened much faster than with a conventional tool, and the spinet never touches the coating. Labor and time are saved because no touch up is necessary for marks from wrenches or pliers. Use a half inch drive impact or ratchet wrench for three quarter inch and one inch conduit, and a three quarter inch drive impact or ratchet wrench for sizes one and a quarter through two inches. A special PVC hickey is available to reduce the possibility of damage during conduit bending. It can be used to bend half inch and three quarter inch conduit by inserting an uncoated stick of one and a quarter inch conduit into the threaded hole and using it to create leverage for the bend. Jaws 3 is a set of three aluminum nickel bronze vice jaws designed to replace the regular jaws in a pipe vise. Jaws 3 protects PVC coated conduit from damage during cutting and threading. These replacement jaws spread the clamping force over a much larger area, greatly reducing the possibility of the pipe spinning in the vise during cutting and threading operations. One set of Jaws 3 handles half inch through one and a half inch conduit. When ordering Jaws 3, be sure to specify the vise model that you are using. Use the plastic socket and standard 3 8 inch ratchet to speed up U-bolt and beam clamp installation. The plastic socket prevents abrasion and cracking of encapsulated nuts, which may be caused by pliers or wrenches, and it assures a tight seal between the nut and the saddle. The 3 8 inch plastic socket fits nuts for half inch through two inch clamps. The 5 8 inch plastic socket fits nuts for two and a half inch and larger sizes. Both plastic sockets fit a standard 3 8 inch drive ratchet wrench. Buy rigid metal PVC coated conduit and fittings, install them with proper tools, follow proven procedures, and expect a superior, long-lasting, corrosion-resistant system that pays for itself with lower maintenance costs and reduced downtime. With PVC-coated conduit, you can install it and forget it.